Average Dude has something to say about... Everybody, welcome back. I said last time that I was going to go over the radicals on the sides of men's rights and feminism and how they basically ruin our chances at attaining equality, finally, because they're not interested in equality. They want to rock the boat for personal gain, and I'll tell you what, they go way too far, and they absolutely ruin what their respective sides are trying to achieve. I'll tell you, I, and it did not take long for me to receive feedback on that. Who are these radicals that you speak of? I'll tell you what, growing up in the household that I did, where my mother absolutely just bullied the crap out of my dad, beat me left and right, and treated my sister like a princess, I was lucky to get out of that. When you are, If you're a male or female child, if you are being abused by one parent, the dominant parent, and you, you tend to go to the other parent for safety, for help. And when that other submissive parent fails to protect you and stand up to the bad, abusive, physically abusive parent, you don't trust that parent you're still in fear of the other one, and then you turn to family, you try family members. And when they, because this is what I heard, oh, well, you must have deserved it, you're a boy. I, and I'm not kidding, well, you're, it's different for girls. It's like, I kept saying, my sister didn't kiss, she was treated like a princess. Oh, well, that's different, she's a girl, you're a boy. Wonderful. Ladies, I'll tell you what, growing up like that really puts males at a huge disadvantage and you don't have a whole heck of a lot of power. You can't be a rapist or a brutal beating individual when you're a toddler, but I'll tell you what, when people that are battered and abused, I've said this before, when they reach that, if they get through it, if they are free of it, and they realize that they don't have to be afraid anymore, that can be a bad situation simply because for no other reason than it gives them confidence that can make them go the other way. They can become the abuser and the, the, they can victimize in return. So you have to really be careful about that. Ladies, if you think that it's a radical feminist, if you think it's a great and wonderful idea to beat and batter little boys and mistreat them, careful because they grow up. Don't do that. And men, where do you think a lot of these radical feminists came from back in the day? This is what happens when you mistreat a gender, when you mistreat kids. So when I hear these people get really defensive, oh, who are these radicals that you're speaking of? I'll tell you what, I get it. I understand that you have found a group that, uh, that by its definition, is looking out for your group's uh, concerns. However, Every, and I've said this before, every single group has its badly behaved brats. And this is, you know what, for those who just simply are pretending that they don't know who the badly behaved brats are on the side of feminism or men's rights, at this point you're just simply not paying attention. Now, now both sides have asked me, especially females, in private messages on YouTube because they, I think they don't feel comfortable uh, throwing it out as a comment on that uh, particular video, and there were only like 25 views so far, but I'm getting feedback from them. I'll tell you what, you want to know who these radicals are? I'm going to go over them right now. Okay, this part is what I call the if you are not with us, you are against us section. Both sides have radicals that go along this line, making an enemy out of everybody that happens to be on the other side of the line. Let's start with the feminist side. Want to know who Gloria Allred is? Oh, she's a famous attorney who has made quite a bit of money on... Hey, females, are you in trouble? I'm a feminist and I'm an attorney. I'm going to help you. Yeah, she's made money off of feminism and identifying with it. I don't trust attorneys. And so, links down below. This is coming straight from her. Quote, I often say if you are not a feminist, you're a bigot. I mean, there is nothing in between. Yes, there is, Gloria. It's called equality. You're old enough to have figured this out by now. Come on. But I'll tell you what. 
They, this is the type of mind, and she's not the only one who has this mindset. This is the type of message that with the younger generations, it absolutely brainwashes them. Uh, and this is where I'm going to turn to uh, the University of Toronto protest, which is now infamous. Vanja Krajina, she's a woman, Vanja Krajina, who uh, attended the University of Toronto's infamous protest. Uh, feminists, radical feminists, were bully tactics, trying to prevent the men's rights movement from having, and men's rights activists, from having a meeting there. No, we can't have that. A pulling the fire alarm, blocking the building so people couldn't get out. Really ridiculous. But Vanja, oh boy, she's one of them that took it an extra mile. Uh, links below. Three minutes, 56 seconds. She's getting into the face of this guy. And I mean, she no fear. There's no victimization on her end. She's the kind of person that victimizes others. Quote, you should be ashamed of yourself. You are effing scum, effing rape apologist, incest supporting, woman hating effing scum. A guy who's about like six inches taller than her, she's right in his face and she knows that he's not going to lay a hand on her. She's a, I guarantee you she has struck men before. She's horrible. Uh, and he's just looking for the police. He's like, eh, police officer, uh, is there somewhere I can go where she won't follow? He's trying to avoid conflict. And she turns to the police officer, 4 minutes, 30 seconds. These are the effing men who are going to rape people. This is the mindset that you are not supposed to have. That's not true. Just because it, male does not equal rape. It just simply means that you're biologically male. That's it. That generalization does more damage than, and this is why I say when it comes to people like Gloria Allred who gets up in front of cameras and says, if you're not a feminist, you're a bigot. There's nothing in between. This is what, it spreads. These horrendous cancerous ideas spread. And these radicals take them on. I mean, one of these guys, look at the video, because one of these guys who was there, he was turned away, he couldn't get in, and he was so upset. And somebody was filming him, why are you even here? And he said he lost two of his best ma friends, male friends, recently from suicide. And he was attending the meeting. He didn't know anything about men's rights. He just simply wanted some answers as to why. But you know what? Men's rights, they have crap on their own end. Okay, introducing the If You Are Not With Us, You Are Against Us member of the men's rights side. Welcome aboard, girl what writes what? Oh my god. God, she's part of what's called a voice for men, and uh, for the most part, if you look at her YouTube videos, or she goes around, she's a prominent player, she's a speaker, she goes around speaking about men's issues, and it, it, it does warm my heart that she at least acknowledges that uh, it's not necessarily a party for, for males growing up in the Western world. However, I, while that warms my heart, I was looking for it to see how she would respond to females and just, uh, you know, the, the good feminists. Well, a voice for men radio, she has a speech that she gave specifically to the nice feminists. And this is where she completely turned me off because I'll tell you what, when you are so narrow-minded that you just simply consider everybody on the opposite end the enemy, and I'm not talking biological sex, she makes it very clear, feminists, which could be males or females. She acknowledges that there are good ones, but her message is, F you to them? <laughs> 7 minutes, 12 seconds. Quote, you wouldn't dream of using violence to attain your goals. Well, F you. If you self-identify as a feminist, you are flying under the banner of totalitarian... You know what, forget it. At this point, I'm just going to... Because that's all that the rest of the, her little diatribe is worth at that point. It's the exact same thing as uh, Gloria Allred and Vanja. It's that same thing. If you are not with it, if you're not a feminist, you're a bigot. 
Oh, if you're a feminist, even a good one, you're flying under the banner of a totality. And here comes her contradiction. Seven minutes, 25 seconds. If you're, quote, if your goals are legitimate, pursue them. You'll have my total support. I think that there's a but coming. And yes, there is. There's a but. Because <laughs> right after that, quote, but if you fly the flag, oh, the flag, yeah, the flag of uh, feminism. She's more concerned about a word than she is about who these people truly are underneath the word. I do not care. I am not that threatened about a word. Girl writes what? And that's really telling that you are. It's about actions. It's about who people choose to be and what they choose to do. It's what's genuinely underneath. I don't care about the banner. Men's rights, e equality, feminism. Hey, the movement could be called followers of the piles of poop for all I care. It, as long as it's about equality. Oh. Romeo and Juliet were both good ones. Shakespeare had it right, because this is why I've said this before. This Hatfield and McCoy, this uh, Capulet versus Montague nonsense. Hey, Romeo and Juliet were both good ones. But I guess they both had to die because they were under the enemy flag. Right, girl, writes what? Oh, let's move on.